359 of Black Clover is finally out, and this is a very interesting chapter because we get Noelle versus Asia Silva, which is, happens to be Noelle's mother. And it's very interesting because I thought that Noelle was going to be one of the groups that's going to go search for Asta to bring him back into the Clover Kingdom. But apparently that's not so. She's here to stay in the Clover Kingdom, ready to go ahead and fight against Lucius and his paladins as she also get a huge power boost and fight against her own mother. But the last time we saw Asia Silver, she actually shocked her own kids as they are surprised that their own dead mother has been resurrected and has turned into a paladin and is about to go on ahead and cause war and destruction for the sake of Lucius. So after that, the chapter begins as we see Asia Silver didn't waste any time at all with the insults and the amount of ass whooping that she's giving to her kids because we all know they all needed it after they all been jerks throughout the whole series. And we started off while she's saying to Nozelle as she just stabs him in the lower abdomen of his stomach as saying that you have become quite strong, haven't you, Nozelle? But this is as far as you can get, as we see a whole bunch of destructions around the Silver Eagles headquarters, which is very interesting because Asia Silver's characteristics is very much interesting and very similar to Mariliona because they both have Black Air Force energy and they both value strength and strong opponents. And we can see this throughout this whole chapter, how she is just talking to her kids and how she's talking to her own guild. Because when she was just done beating up Nozelle, then she goes on ahead and she was just like, the Silver Eagles, this is what I left behind. Was this always like this? Because she just literally just destroyed this whole guild. And everyone is injured everyone doesn't want to fight her everyone is just literally is just on the floor defeated even her own kids her own kids doesn't want to fight her because that's their mom but she even scolded her own kids by telling them that they're weak and they could have been powerful if they didn't let hate and power wrapped around their minds and it was just something that you can see throughout the whole chapter what she values more but of course she does take fault in it because she does blame herself because she was just like, maybe I didn't love you enough and it was my fault that I died. So she said, you know what? I will kill all of you guys and you guys will be reborn underneath Lucius magic and we can all be equal and live happily ever after together. So while she's stating that, we see that Noel appears in front of her brother and she says like hey stay strong as her brother's in shock the fact that noel is actually here and then we see the interaction of Asia Silver and Noel. Asia was excited to see Noel, and she even said that when they were younger, she they both were two peas in a pod. But Noel, she realized that look, you are not my mother. I met my mother when I actually defeated Migecula, and when I defeated her, I was able to see her. But this woman that's in front of me right now, this is not my mother at all. But then we go into a flashback where we see Noel actually gets her power up because everyone kept saying throughout the whole battlefield in the present that, hey, Noel got a lot stronger. So then whilst in the flashback, we see Noel actually crying about Asta because she couldn't do anything. She couldn't even access her saint stage, but she did got a lot stronger but it wouldn't do anything. It was meaningless in front of Lucius. So she said, no matter what, things would not be able to change if she continued on moping. So she will not give up and she will go on ahead and continue on becoming stronger. And she definitely knows that Asta is alive and that she will go on ahead and protect the Clover Kingdom until his ass comes back. So then while she is just thinking that, we see two other underwater water tribe people, I can't pronounce their names, but they greet Noel and then they go on ahead and they're just like, hey, you know, the king has a big problem 
with the seabed temple and they need your help because they know that noelle she's actually a lot powerful and she also knows water magic so they kind of need her assistant and they were just like hey you've gotten a lot stronger since the last time we saw you so we kind of need your help at this moment so then we see this giant sea dragon and everyone's in, in shock. Noelle's in shock because she sees this giant sea dragon. So she actually are able to know about the history of the lore about this dragon. So this sea god dragon has been worshipped from the underwater temple since ancient time. And the legend has it is that the dragon of the rage sea will once awaken from its long slumber as the doom of the world has been approached. So this dragon kind of know that Lucius is going to commit judgment day. So he's finally awakened. And then once he noticed Noel, he kind of noticed that this is a mage who has strong magic abilities, especially to that is water based. So he's just like, you know what? I'm a team with you and we'll go ahead and we'll do battle. So then we see that the sea god is actually there in the present time with Noel. And then they both agree to work together as Noel is summoning a new magic spell as both her siblings are in shock of what they are witnessing. But then we see that the two underwater temple magic mages or knights or whatever you want to call them are actually there too in the battlefield as well as all their siblings are witnessing noelle's new magic as she summoned a valkyrie dress dragon form as she states to her mom that i will surpass her as atheist silver is in joy because she was just like wow you gotten a lot stronger so the showdown of mother versus daughter will begin next week and things are going to be very interesting to see how noelle is going to pull this off because atheist silver she was known in the clover kingdom as this woman that no one can defeat so let's see how this will be able to play out so this is going to be very very interesting but other than that this was a very good chapter because we see noel get an awesome power up we also see the people from the underwater temple they're here to help noel and we're going to see atia silva versus against noel later on in this fight we probably will see all of the siblings working together to actually go ahead and defeat their mother but that's just pretty much what my prediction is what's going to happen in this fight but let me know down in the comment section how you guys feel about this chapter and what you guys feel about this build up but other than that if you guys do like the video please give it a like subscribe and remember always be decent this is mr monotone or monotone man and hope you guys have a wonderful day be safe out here be decent yeah